So when I'm working out alone, I really try to focus on the minute details and I try to really picture myself in game-like situations. So pretending that there's a defender on me and trying to perfect my game and not doing that drill until I get it right, but doing it until I can't get it wrong. AJ was born into this life. <laughs> I was coaching at Wittenberg University at the time when he was born. But I think that's kind of where his love for it, because that's what we did. You know, we're a basketball family. I've always just played on the court, watching the college guys play, and always wanting to be like them or be better than them. I think athletics are a really important part of the student experience at Wellington, but really even beyond Wellington as well. I think there's so many life skills that can be learned through athletics, resiliency, hard work, commitment, and I just think that in an athletic environment, those areas are tested in a unique way. We have the learning that goes on in the classroom, but we also like it to extend to the athletic fields, and I think athletics brings life lessons to our students that they can use beyond uh, the playing fields and basketball courts. Wellington means a lot to me because we're family. The teachers are great. I love every single one of them, and I think they're all really good at what they do because they include everyone, and they want to teach everyone to the best of their abilities. He just skyrocketed with his study habits, the commitment, and the, the care to how he was doing academically. I get to take classes that I think I want to take in college. That's the freedom that Wellington gives. I think that's really nice. Personal finance, stats, calculus, those are like my favorite classes. It comes naturally to me. I just love the game. It's like, it helps me, helps me clear my mind. And it's something that I love to do. He's a very detailed player. He's a thinker. He always wants to make the right play. His ultimate goal is always just to be the best uh, player that he can be. So I told him my dream was to play in college basketball. Um, so he really pushed me hard up through seventh grade up until now. He asked questions, what I gotta do to be better in this situation? And we got to work in the gym, and the academics in the classroom, sitting on the couch studying, giving them pop quizzes as he eats his breakfast in the morning before his test is coming up that day. He has been just awesome to watch grow and develop. As he was coming through our middle school teams, I think we all saw in him a lot of potential, leadership potential and basketball potential both. But over the years, particularly through his junior and senior year, he has just evolved in who he is as a young man. To see him grow to where he is now, the ebb and flows, I don't think once he ever questioned if this was something he wanted to do. On the court, I think it's prepared me to be a leader, using my voice, expressing myself, and like off the court, I think it's taught me to push me out of my comfort zone. Emotionally, it's like taught me to be in touch with my emotions, to have courageous conversations with people, um, speaking my truth, and so I think it's just pushed me to be a better person in general. Every coach will tell you there's ups and downs in, in coaching your son, uh, but it's an experience that many parents, once they try it out, say, man, they're glad that they're able to do it. So it's been, it's been phenomenal. We have the best connection that you can have, and I think that really helped me enhance my game. He really cares about the people around him, and he really cares about the people he don't know. I think my main role is just being a leader, trying to push everyone and myself to being the best players that they can be. But we've really tried hard to bring our camaraderie together by doing activities like eating lunch together or we went bowling, so that was pretty fun. One thing that I think makes us special is that our coaches really try to understand and know the entire student. That aspect of if you want to be part of something um, and you're interested in it, uh, we wrap our arms around you and give you the same type of teaching, coaching experience that the more experienced athlete would be getting. And I think that's a unique aspect that shows our, our community and our support for all of our students. Wittenberg wasn't top on his list uh, initially. He had many other schools up there, and just over time of him doing his extensive research, they, they rose to the top. I think Wittenberg was probably just ingrained into me from all along. Just remembering them like banging on the lockers and that chant, and I would just clap. Let's go it, let's go it. Just remembering doing that. So I think that's just ingrained in me. 
Oh man, so y'all gonna make me cry. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Every parent wants their kid to be the best, right? Um, in everything that they do. He's worked for it all. And the, the biggest thing I want for him is to never get comfortable. I think it's just, I wanna be the best that I can be. Even if I do good, I could have always done better. So I think the more I work, the better I can do. Um, trying to trying to get to perfection knowing that I'll never be perfect. <laughs>